morning, everyone. Welcome to the book report. I have turned the camera around again this week because I decided that it's a little, it's just too annoying to not be able to tell what everybody else can see. So I apologize for the backwards lettering, but I think ultimately this makes it a little easier to manage um, and know whether I'm actually in frame or not, which I kind of wasn't last week. So tonight we're going to take a little bit of a break from uh, talking about the 2024 Reading and Challenge. And the reason for that is that this week is called the Trans Rights Readathon for 2024. Um, it is leading up to the Trans Day of Visibility uh, at the end of the month. And I wanted to just take a break and talk about some of the books that we have in the store that would fit that category, uh, that censor trans um, non-binary uh, characters. And um, also share that I went to the Trans Rights Readathon website. Again, this is gonna be backwards, but you can kind of see it. Uh, there's a tiny little bingo board that I printed off. It's kind of fun. Um, I put uh, some of these on the shelf for the uh, display in the store, so if you want to come pick one up, you can. But if you don't happen to be in the store this week, um, you can go to Trans Rights Readathon. Uh, let's see, Trans Rights Readathon. Dot C A R R D. Dot C O forward slash. Um, but if you just look up Trans Rights Readathon on Google, that's what I did. Um, and you can print one of these off for, on your own. Um, and honestly, don't limit it to a week. Um, use the bingo board and you can use it all year um, because you can play Blackout instead of bingo uh, because there's a lot of great categories on here. Um, but I just picked three that we happen to have in the store right now that were books that I happen to have read because um, I felt like I could talk about those a little bit more. And uh, so, yeah, we're going to just jump right in. The first book I want to talk about is called The Other Woods by Justine Puchella Winans. We have had the opportunity to talk to Justine about this book um, last either September or August. I think it was August. Um, so if you go to our uh, YouTube page, there's a link in our uh, link tree in Instagram. Uh, you can watch that video. Um, it was very fun to talk to them. Um, and the book that we talked about was The Other Woods. It is a middle grade novel. Uh, it centers a non-binary character named River, who is def destined to be a hero and would rather not be, thank you very much. Uh, but when their friend is kidnapped and dragged into the other woods, they have really no choice but to follow and try to save their friend. Um, it's spooky, it's fun, but it also has surprising depth. There's um, some very profound observations about love, about friendship, about loss. Uh, some of the characters that they meet in the other woods have dealt with some pretty profound things in their lives. Uh, so it manages to be just a really profound book, which while well, at the same time just being a really fun book. Um, for example, one of the characters um, is Charlie, the monster under the bed who is actually real. So Definitely give this one a try. Uh, Justine Puchello Winans again is the author. The Other Woods. It's a great middle grade read. Uh, just a fun story for all ages, and obviously um, it fits in the fantasy genre. Um, the second book I want to talk about. Uh, I've actually talked about this book a couple times on the book report. Um, it's called The Infinity Alchemist by Kason Callender. Um, it is a YA fantasy uh, that centers a Ash, a trans mask character who has magical powers but is not one of the in group. Um, they and as such, they are not legally allowed to practice. Um, they call it alchemy in this book. Um, but Kaysen gets a job at the school that teaches alchemy um, since he is not allowed to be a student there. Um, and starts teaching himself based on uh, resources that he procures from the library. And of course gets caught, but he gets caught by another student who, in exchange for helping um, him learn, 
makes basically makes Ash a deal that I will help you learn how to do magic if you will help me find this magic book um, called The Source. And uh, they want to keep it out of the hands of people that will do something bad with this powerful book and use it to right some old wrongs. Um, I thought this was very interesting. And then the fact that it features, there's just so much great rep in this book. Um, it features trans characters. There are characters of color. There are queer characters. There are polyamorous characters. Um, all handled really beautifully, but some representation that we don't always see, which is really great. Um, so again, Infinity Alchemist by Kaysen Callender. Um, if you're just popping in, I just wanted to let you know that tonight we're talking about uh, books that are good for the trans rights readathon. So that's kind of our theme this week. Um, so this is YA. The third book that I want to talk about is an adult book that just released in the last couple of weeks uh, called The Woods All Black by Lee Mandalo. This book, I had the opportunity to read the arc towards the end of last year. It is just an absolutely stunning book. The the writing is fabulous. Um, it's super creepy, um, but it also uh, just is just really profound at the same time. It's a uh, gender revenge story uh, wrapped up in post World War Appalachia. Uh, it centers a character, a queer or a trans character that is a nurse who is sent out um, to the rural communities to try to do home health, uh, vaccinations, uh, health education and that kind of thing. And they come to this town that's um, very insular, uh, extremely religious in some ways that are a little upsetting and eerily rep representative of some of the things that are going on now, but it also features uh, the forest as almost a character, very creepy forest, uh, possible monsters in the forest. Um, but really it's just about the writing. The writing is absolutely stunning. It's currently definitely going to make my top five this year and probably will stay there for the rest of the year, no matter how many other books I read. So I definitely highly recommend this one. Um, and um, if you didn't see this at the beginning, um, there is a cute little bingo board that you can download from the Trans Rights Readathon website. Uh, I also have a few that I printed off in the store. So I just really encourage you to participate in that. Um, look for some books that maybe have some representation that you haven't maybe read before. Or if that's something that you do read all the time, just look for some new fun ones that maybe you haven't seen. Um, the Trans Day of Visibility is the 31st, so we'll probably have a, a display up for that. So if you're looking for more suggestions, they'll be there. Um, and I really appreciate you joining us tonight. So happy reading this week and have a good week. Good night.